this just got to me a lot more serious when you have somebody who, as far as I know, is not a practicing member of the medical profession calling for an intervention for the president of the United States. It's just downright shameful uh, for the Speaker of the House to say there needs to be some sort of intervention to make the wild claims that he wants impeachment. There is no basis for it and absolutely no basis for it. It should be called out for what it for what it is. I think she's responding to the radical side of her, her party. She went into this hour long meeting and walked out of there and had a whole new tone that is very combative, but it's not going to move the country forward. And I think it's highly offensive. And, and, and she's putting words in the president's mouth that just weren't there. So, you know, it's interesting, Capri, we're reading more and more today about the division in the Democratic Party right. and those who were really pressing Nancy Pelosi to put up or shut up, basically. You know, I mean, it is you talked about what you were going to do. We put uh, Democrats in leadership in the House. And regardless of health care, the most left leaning in the party want Impeachment or something like it? What do you do if you're the Speaker of the House? You know you can't do that. Well, I think she recognizes, and listen, she just said it. We just heard that clip of her saying, you know, President Trump is upset because he knows that we're not on the path to impeachment, and that's what he wants. And there's no question in my mind that... Sounds like she's trying to sell something to the far left. Yeah. Well, and she very well may be. There's right. always... You know, what I'm you know, I've said this before. Look, I was, a, I was a caucus leader, nothing like being Speaker of the House, but I do know what happens when you do have divisions within your party. You've got to go out there and put some kind of brave face on to try to show that you're on message. And she she's basically trying to re revamp and say look you know we're not going to go there now that doesn't mean that they're going to stop the oversight process on well, everything she can't stop that anyway well she she certainly could if she wanted to boy that would be interesting wouldn't it she's not going to she's not going to allow impeachment to go to the floor period Dagan? I don't, I, I wouldn't say that right now. I'm going to quote from the Wall Street Journal editorial because they say it better than I can. The remark about the President of the United States is engaged in a cover-up from Nancy Pelosi. The remark is part of her now daily act of political cognitive dissonance in which she accuses Mr. Trump of committing impeachable offenses to appease her anti-Trump ultras while opposing impeachment lest it jeopardize her swing district Democrats in 2020. Yeah. And there's more of a push from the, um, the very left-leaning Democrats because they know that they're boxed into a corner in terms of these investigations unless they start impeachment proceedings. Impeachment proceedings in the House, it gives the Democrats access to more information from the White House, greater yes. investigative tools, and in terms of the White House's power to invoke in executive privilege, it narrows it. So the only way that this ball is going to keep rolling is if they begin in, in impeachment proceedings. And the Wall Street Journal suggests once that ball starts, you can't stop it, and it does right. head to a full vote. You know what? You segued us into the next point here. Uh, the CBS News poll, what should congressional Democrats do now? Can we pop that up? There it is. Continue the Russia investigation, 44 percent. Drop it and move on, 53 uh, percent. We're seeing a tick up in that. Why do you think? I would say that since the day the Mueller investigation came out, the report was issued, I have been asking the same very fundamental question. Nancy Pelosi repeated again today, the president is engaged in a cover-up, and I ask, of what? Yeah. Of what? And when I asked Democrats on the couch that yesterday, you can't come up with the of what. Say, oh, he's obstructing, but of, of what? Like, what? he's covering up what? They're on a treasure hunt. They are trying to get tax records, anything they can possibly find. They're sure that if they that's dig deep the enough... That's not the Russian investigation, though. That's not the Russian investigation. There's a pony under it somewhere if you keep digging and digging and digging. They're so, sure he's done something. I would ask Americans out there, if you had agencies coming after you and they were just on a hunt, they had no idea what they were looking for, they were going to go through your whole life and all of your records, and they were saying, you're covering up. And you say, what am I covering up? And they go, I don't know, but we're going to find it. All right. So, Capri, I understand what you're saying. You're saying, well, this is the Russia investigation and the tax returns right, and all tax that. Right, the tax Deutsche Bank, else. whatever so my, else. So yeah. my question for you is, do you really think Democrats or, or anybody in politics act so autonomously? 
It's not conspiratorial to say that these things can potentially connect together. How do we know that? Bob Mueller already showed us on those areas that he wanted to kick to prosecutors in the Southern District of New, of New York. York. Yeah, yeah, that's what he did. So some things can come back sure. well, to I connect mean, with it, each other. It, I understand what you're saying there to say, well, this isn't the Russian investigation. But I'm going back to the CBS poll that we just we okay. decided. Okay, well, let's get to just it. 53% of people saying... saying Let's Move drop the, the Russia investigation. This, it's the specificity. Democrats, not just the, people. De and, and fair enough, I've, I, you know that I've said let's move on, on from the Russia investigation, but there is a number of other issues here that aren't necessarily the, quote, Russia investigation, and that is where we're seeing, with the exception of the, just, the obstruction of justice aspect of this, which is, you know, the Judiciary Committee and Jerry so Nadler and everything issue? else, it's but Deutsche the, Bank, the, it's the tax returns, okay, can right. it's I'm a moment of Jason Chaffetz, who, who once led the Oversight That's Committee right. as, as its chairman. Look, Did you ever think we would get to this point? No. Because, look, there's a special prosecutor in place in Tamil Melissa's point, I, I have... Donald Trump could have claimed executive privilege. He didn't. He could have uh, claimed that, you know, he had attorney-client privilege. He didn't. He, you know, he had Don McGahn give 30 hours of testimony. Mueller had every resource at his disposal, and there are no charges. Okay. And Congress cannot charge anybody. Congress does not do right. that. They don't give him handcuffs. Can I say something about the Deutsche Bank thing? I mean, when, when people are talking about, I want to look at his financial records to see who it is that he's beholden to. The Biden children took over a billion dollars yeah. from the Chinese government. Who are we having problems with right now? China. You don't need to subpoena anyone's tax records to see that the Kerry children and the Biden children got together and formed a private equity fund and went out and raised money from China. I mean, that's right None out of them are running for the actual open. president. But their Biden parents is. were in the and position. Their kids, are not. Trump, their kids are not. When you talk about the Trump organization, they say the kids are still doing it. It was the Moscow Tower. The Moscow Tower has nothing on that right. money Look, from China. You know, but I, wanna, I just want to say that well, you need, no matter what, if, if there is an issue with Biden's kids or Kerry's kids. He was on the plane when he went there with them in order to talk to the Chinese government. Too. No one is above the law. If there are issues there, we need to look at them as well. It's not an can issue. I, it's right out there in the public. Can I just say one thing? You know how Nancy Pelosi keeps saying, I'm praying for the President of the United States. You know that's bless I'm my heart. Yeah. You know what the Democrats are praying for? Bless your heart. Yes. They're praying for a recession because that's the only way they're oh, winning anything wow. next year. And she's uh, and praying. I want to give Jason Chaffetz, the only member on the couch who, who was the chairman of the Oversight Committee. <laughs> I, I really get stuck on this idea that he's covering up something. He has been the most open and transparent with a special prosecutor who went through the entirety and found nothing. No why collusion. Why is Bob Mueller no so cover. unpopular now with what seems and to be Democrats? And why isn't Jerry Nadler trying to get him to come testify? He's why trying to get all Jerry these other Nadler things. Why doesn't Jerry Nadler walk the six blocks? Uh, so yes. you'll read the, the <laughs> nearly all unredacted, 98.5% exactly. Mueller report in the skiff. Exactly. Serve snacks in that thing. <laughs> Free food. <laughs> Cocktails. <laughs> Cocktails. Anyway. <laughs>